What's shaking, everybody? It's Disteen, back with another Shaking or Not Shaking. I know it's been a while, sorry for that, but today I made this wonderful recipe. It's called um, mac and cheese, except it's not really mac. It's not really macaroni, but it's definitely some kind of noodle, okay? I boiled it, threw some cheese all over it. I don't even know what kind of cheese is in this, but there's cheese all over it, as you can see. There's also bacon bits in here, and these are, this is shell. This is a uh, shell shells that's the noodle uh as you can see it's a little it's a little dry because it's been sitting out for a little bit but it's it's also very moist and uh, i can see all the cheese in it you know what i'm saying but yeah i made this a uh, couple of like 30 minutes ago it's raining very heavily outside as you can hear in the video that's besides the point now let's get straight to the test mm. Now, as you can see, this is brought to you by the local this guy's house, you know. We really uh, focus on our our cooking here. And uh, for my previous recipes, this is a very, very big jump. It's a very big jump. Uh, <laughs> everything I've made before was absolutely terrible. But this was a this was a pretty good, pretty good one out of them all. I see it's very, very cheesy. And this guy loves it when it's very, very cheesy. Mm -hmm. If you guys need a recipe on this, I can drop it. I can guarantee you it's not going to be accurate at all, but it'll get you somewhere with the food. <laughs> also got some lemonade here from the leftover party of this baby. <laughs> As a tiny beverage, lemonade. Nine out of ten. It's pretty good. Now the food itself is really good. The only problem I would say is there's a lot of cheese. And because of how many different cheeses I put in it, some cheeses are really like gooey and fall apart like this, and then some just clutter in the, the shells, which is kind of weird, but that's okay. It tastes amazing. And uh, the bacon bits, they're not evenly spread, but that's all right because I only put them on the top before I baked it. Um, the entire dish comes apart really well. It sits on the plate, except it spreads itself everywhere, which you can obviously see in the video. Uh, I would give my own dish... A good 7 out of 10. This is the good one that I've made. The shells are a little under seasoned. So before you make the sauce, you know, for your mac and cheeses, always pack some seasoning in there if you're going to rub the shells all over it. Because the shells aren't going to have any seasoning if you don't season them, right? So you got to make sure it's all good. But yeah, 7 out of 10 on the shaken or not shaken. Is it shaken? It is definitely shaken. Now, in the sunny, sunny day... I'm just kidding. It's very, very rainy. And on a rainy day, this shaking or not shaking, me and this guy are out. 